everybody welcome to a new sewing video i'm not sure what order i'm going to be putting these up in but this is actually the fourth dress i'm starting in this sort of collection which i'm calling pastel goth because i'm doing a mixture of like pastel colors mixed with black um, for these dresses so that's sort of the theme i'm going with and I'm using pink again. I know this is the fourth pink dress, but I organized all of my fabric into color piles and I've just got my bag of pink out. So I'm just going through the pink first. What I'm starting with, this one's a bit different to the others I've made. They've all been cotton previously. This one's actually a nylon and spandex blend. It's still actually a very nice quality fabric. It's got a really nice sort of ruffle effect around the neckline. So I might leave the neckline alone. I might not do my usual tatters with this one I might just leave the whole top half blank I don't know if you've seen videos of mine before like this then as you know I'll just sort of make it up as I go along so I can't really show you much else yet as to what I'm going to go with I'm probably going to do a black skirt pink netting and then black tatters over the top of that and then as to whether I add black details or not around here I'll decide when I get nearer the time <laughs> And yeah, I hope you enjoy watching. fabric um, next because I've got this lovely crochet that I think would look very cool over the top of the pink so I'm going to be using this next for the overlayer of the skirt and to embellish some of the neckline. Actually, I really like this sort of crochet lace overlay and you can see the pink net underneath and it pokes right here and there as well. Yeah, I'm really liking this one. It is less detailed than some of my other dresses in this range, but that's really good because actually I want to cater for a range of budgets. So this one will be a bit more affordable than some of the others with more fancy schmancy stuff. I will probably ask my daughter Jude to model this one. I think it's going to look really good actually. I think it's going to be really nice and flattering and I think it'll look great on her figure. So I'm looking forward to doing the photo shoot with her and this dress. And then I'll put the link below if you'd like to buy the dress from my Etsy shop threads of a fairy tale. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and if you're new here it'd be lovely to see you again so please hit that subscribe button below and that's it 
from me for now. Bye.